During the last decade of the 20th century, I became interested in the idea of making sound from images. Um, I discovered Metasynth by UNI Software and used that for quite a long time for making uh, bits of uh, soundtrack for the films that I was making at the time. Um, I found eventually that Metasynth didn't give me enough control over the pixels, and so I decided to write this patch uh, using Max and Jitter around 2005. Uh, it's explained in this comment down here that this image is a sonogram of my voice saying the word emergence, which was the title of a piece that I was working on at the time. Let's hear what that sounds like. <laughs> Now, all the word, although the word was fairly short, it stretched out over 10 seconds. You know, over here on the player, we see it's going to play over 10 seconds. Uh, the image was actually made with Metasynth, using the option to uh, create a sonogram from uh, whatever is the current sound. Now, I use Jitter uh, to do it, which means I can have access to all of the, uh, the Jitter uh, effects. Uh, it's simply playing the same slide over and over and over again. The ones I chose just for fun were uh, a threshold, which will uh, remove pixels, a, a rotation, which will turn the, uh, the image from uh, the different angles. Um, a sprinkle is a very interesting object. It will um, randomize the pixels as it plays. And then finally, a uh, scan slide uh, is a, an effect that uh, will smear the image. So let's see what some of the other presets look like. So this is the thinning. This is a rotation. And there's the effect of sprinkle. And there's the smear. And then another, I'm not sure what this is. It looks like another thinning. Yeah, there's a threshold up here and so forth. So let's hear these. So here's the thinned one. And it's not only thin, but it's mapped into a different pitch range. It's high because I've chosen 72 to 96 as the limit and MIDI key numbers to, uh, for mapping uh, the image. Uh, let's, let's move on and hear the rotated version. And that's still fairly thin. And here's the the uh, sprinkle one. And if you notice up here, the limits of, of the columns to be played was uh, 256 to 258. So all the activity you're hearing is, is contained in the uh, jittering uh, um, or sprinkling pixels between in just three columns of the image. The effect is a kind of a single chord. Uh, preset number five is the smear. And finally, preset six. And again, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's a transposition and pitch limited version of uh, preset one. Let's look back at preset one again. Notice that the pitch range there is 0 to 127, so it lets through pitches uh, on uh, MIDI pitch numbers unaltered. The other settings uh, uh, squeeze it into different ranges and, and map them. Now, you've probably been watching this image over here. This is a, uh, something I just found on the internet called Cosmic Dust. And so I'm going to read that in as my major issue, uh, major uh, thing, and we'll go down now. This is much more interesting compositionally than, than that single word. So just the same presets. This is a, a little thinner and I can make it maybe a little thinner more by simply raising the, the threshold.
and let's, uh, let's skip to number four where it's sprinkling. And then let's just put in a small amount of, of uh, smearing. Maybe we need a bit more than that. Yeah, I'm not sure what the parameter range of this is. There we go. Put it up to about seven. And play it again. smeared. Maybe a little too many notes in that. And finally, this last preset that's got a little, little bit of smearing and, uh, and thresholding. Pitch range is about two octaves, uh, beginning just below middle, two octaves around middle C, it looks like. So anyway, that's what I was up to around uh, 2005, and I'm returning it uh, to it as uh, one of the MIDI generators in this new software that I'm working on called Sonomorphs, uh, making some great progress on that. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Oh, I'm Gary Nelson, Gary Lee Nelson formerly of Oberlin College, now uh, teaching at the New Mexico School for the Arts in Santa Fe.